This is my um, Toshiba Protege M200. This is Arc Matter. Um, I know there's a lot of difficulties in getting one of these because you don't have the you do not have a CD-ROM drive to install your favorite OS. Um, I got this off eBay pretty cheap, um, but I like them. I I I like the M200 Protege because um, I had one a long time ago and I got rid of it. Um, but I just wanted to show it real quick. I put Windows 7 on it. Um, a lot of people have a hard time reinstalling it, like I said, because you don't have a CD-ROM drive. But I'm, I'm going to explain the way that I did it. And it's kind of a hack, hack, real hack job because I pulled the hard drive out, took it in and put it in a Dell that I have, which I'll, get, I'll go show that in a minute. Um, you know, these flip around to go into tablet mode. I do have Wi-Fi for this, but my Wi-Fi card is not responding at this time. But you can see it going to there's the tablet mode. I also gotta order myself a pen yet. So I just wanted to show it because I like I'm still working on it. I will show how I did the little hack to make it easy for me. A lot of people did different things. They did PXE. I don't know how to do PXE. If I had more time and it wasn't working cause I, uh, all the time, that I would most probably spend a lot of time learning how to do that, but I don't. Uh, so I just, I just tried to do it the easiest way for me. And so um, I'm going to stop my video for a second and go show my computer how I did the little mod to put the windows on my on my hard drive for the Toshiba protege for the video um, I took the I took a hard drive out of one of my laptops I don't work on the 88 IDE drive and I just hooked it up to the Dell, the Optiplex XX 260, and I modified. I had to modify the, the optic drive too to a DVD ROM drive, and I just tore that out of something I had to, and just kind of threw a little Frankenstein uh, monster together um, to do this. Um, I, you just hook it up and. Since you'll have a DVD drive in there, it um, has a Pentium 4 in it, and and I think I have a gig or 512 of DDR RAM in there. can't remember anymore, but since this little desktop PC is pretty powerful, uh, strong enough to install Windows 7, I just took it out and put the Windows 7 on the drive and put it back in the Toshiba and let it run its rest of its install on there um, that was the easiest way I found to do it and I didn't have to put Windows XP tablet on it uh, I could put Windows 7 uh, whatever copy that you have I had I think I put professional because I had a copy of that um, and it worked out really well. Um, I was very pleased with the, I mean, and you just seen a little bit of the video of it, and I just wanted to show that I thought that was just a little bit easier way. I still have a uh, get a couple of the drivers on the Toshiba yet, but hopefully I'll have it, and then maybe I'll do another video later. But I just want to thank you for checking out my videos and the uh, really good response I'm having on the trio. Uh, 4.3 tablet, a stealth tablet is doing well and
Um, hopefully I'll do a little more on that one too. Thank you. Arc Matter. <laughs> Thank you.